Hello, 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 everyone. Welcome to my channel. My name is Grace. I am a life coach and mentor and spiritual motivator. Thank you so much for joining me, beloved. To all of my new subscribers, bienvenidos. Welcome all. Thank you so much for subscribing. Thank you for finding value in something that I have to say, beloved. I also welcome all of my viewers. Listen, if you like what you hear today, I welcome you to subscribe, hit the like, hit the noting bell, and share this video. Also, drop me a pearl, drop me a ruby in your comment in my comment section there. I'm all for people planting good seeds into my garden, beloved. Thank you all so much for joining me. So I want to talk to my creatives today. You're all creative, by the way. I don't care who says what. And I don't care who's, I don't care if it's your great grandmother telling you. I don't care if it's your mother telling you. I don't care if it's your daddy, if it's your big sister, your big brother, your narcissistic ex. I don't care who it is telling you, you're not creative. Especially happens in dirty, toxic, dysfunctional families where someone's very creative. Someone's really doing creative things. And then someone else all of a sudden says, oh man. Look at her. Yeah, look at him. And right in front of you. Oh, he is so creative. Look at him. He's just like a jack of Jill of all trades. Oh, I am so proud of you, honey. I am so proud of you. In the meantime, you get the fuzzy end of the lollipop. You know what I mean? I've been there. I've been there. Ooh, let me tell you. And as your life coach, I am here to tell you, you are all creatives. You are all born with innate creativity. I don't care if your art teacher ain't telling you that. I don't care. I'm telling you that. I'm telling you that because I struggled with that all of my life. And for a long time, I was made to feel bad for not cooking, especially in my, in my kind of um, cultural background. It was like, you've got to learn how to cook. A man is conquered through the stomach. Well, that may be so, but um, I'm not passionate about cooking, okay? <laughs> Creativity is innate in you because you come from the creative mastermind. That's why it's innate in you. When you were a child, you had no limits. You had no limits. You would create and create. A lot of you have grown up in these kinds of um, households where you weren't encouraged as children in your creativity. Where you wrote something and nobody really thought anything of it. Where you did school plays and nobody showed up. But the kids at school were like, yeah, you're awesome. That's awesome. Oh, you really need to, you really need to get into acting. You really need to get into theater. Your teachers were in awe. They were like, I didn't know you had that in you. Or maybe you joined a sports team and you found out you were great at it, right? If you were doing abstract, there was no one there to encourage you because it didn't look like something that they thought was art. <laughs> oh, stop expecting people to validate you. Mm, stop expecting people to validate you. You're creative. You were born creative and you will die creative. All right. Now, my question to you is, are you going to summon the creative force? Are you going to summon the creative genius? Are you going to deploy your gifts before you die? Are you going to bless others with your gifts? Do you know what your gifts are? I want you to start asking yourselves. If you're working a nine to five right now, if you're frustrated and you want out and you're like, oh, this is not bringing me any joy. I thought I liked this. I studied, it could be a career, it could be a career move. I thought I really liked this. That's happened to me. I thought I studied it. I invested time, I invested money. And you're like, I really like it, but I don't love it and you don't feel fulfilled. And you know why you don't feel fulfilled? Let me tell you why don't, you don't feel fulfilled. First of all, because you are not operating in your gift. Second of all, because you're not working in your purpose. If you're working in your purpose, baby, I am guarantee you, you wouldn't even sleep. I am guarantee you, you wouldn't even, you would not stop. You would be like, I'm ready for the next one. Let's do this. I'm ready for the next one. Let's create more. This is why people who give themselves away completely to their gift, who marry their gift, they're happy. They're absolutely happy. They are working in their purpose and they know why they exist. They know why they were placed here. 
They're not wandering around like in the zombie movies, like, well, dude, where are we? They're not doing that. They're like, I am exactly where I need to be right now. When you work in your purpose, you obsess over how you can make things better, over how can you can improve the quality of it. It's like a chef. It's like a a chef that's in the kitchen and he's sprinkling in, he's doing all the, all of this improvisation. You are so passionate about it. You, it comes easily to you. You have a knack for it. It, it, it. It's the thing that you are, you have a knack for. And maybe other people have even told you already you have a knack for it. It may even be something as, as subtle as having an excellent listener. And that could be one of your many gifts. A lot of you have precious singing voices. A lot of you are poets. You're writers. You're novelists. And you're New, you're New York Times best-selling novelists. A lot of you are excellent business owners. You're wonderful life coaches. You are amazing counselors. Oh, the list goes on. There is just so much going on in the vineyard of the Lord. He gives gifts indiscriminately. He has blessed you with gifts and he has blessed you with creativity and the creativity doesn't just belong to Mozart or Beethoven or that, that kid with the straight A's in school, the one who's always getting the accolades. It doesn't just belong to the chef of the five-star restaurant. It belongs to you as well. You are not devoid of gifts. And the reason that you are not happy right now is because you're not working in your purpose. It's because you are not cultivating. It's because you are not, you're probably not even encouraged where you are right now. You're not encouraged to keep going. You're not encouraged to keep discovering. You're not encouraged because a lot of people just don't understand and you can't expect them to. But then a lot of people are jealous. They see your gift. And they are jealous. And they know, they fear. They fear your potential. They fear what you are truly capable of if you awakened to your divine self. If you awakened to what you can really do, if you focus and you sit down and you write that manuscript, you sit down and you create that business, you sit down and you start working work, 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 and what it is that is calling you. It's calling you from the inside. It's like a baby. It's crying. It's calling, it's calling out for you, completely calling out for you. And you're playing deaf ears on it because you're so, you know, gunked up with external and internal noise. You haven't allowed the gift to speak. Like I said, it's, it's, it's the thing that comes easily to you. It's the things that are come that come easily to you. And like I said, a lot of people are multi-gifted. You could be one of them. But how do you know if there's no one telling you, even telling you, do you know you're gifted? You probably look around you and you're like the black sheep of the family. Everyone's gifted beside me, besides me. Everyone knows how to, um, you know, crochet. Everyone knows how to um, paint and draw and do makeup and speak from whence I come. I was that child in the family. My gifts were very introspective. And so because it was always like that, people, my own parents couldn't see it. My own parents couldn't see that I was good at something. And I got tired of waiting on people to validate me, beloved. I got tired of waiting on people to, to tell me that I'm good at something. You feel in your gut that you're good at something, it's because you are. And so I encourage you to start looking. Start looking, beloved. And if you have no idea where to start, I would love to, for you to book a 45 minute consultation with me. Absolutely free for you. We can talk, we can discuss. And I offer those creative coaching sessions just for you, beloved, so that you can start to find what it is that you are good at. I pray this falls on open ears. Take it, meditate on it. Forget what everybody has to say. 
You are creative. I am telling you, create today. Create anything that is on your heart. Create it like you're that child. Go back to that time when you were a kid and you created those that miniature, that diorama, whatever that you would love to create as a child, go back to that. Why were you so passionate about that? Why were you so good at drawing and sketching and now you're like, I can't for the life of me sketch out anything. Why were you so good at that? Because as a child, you were cultivating it and there were people who were helping you cultivate it. And as your life coach, I am here to help you cultivate, recultivate your gift. Really. I love you all so very much. Until we speak again, be excellent as the cedars. Be creative. You are creative forces. You are producers. And you are powerful creators of that. You were made in the image and likeness of the creative mastermind. And so you are not only a masterpiece, as Les Brown says, but you are also a creative, creative, powerful force. Believe it. Receive it with open ears and open hearts.